Hello, after doing my pastel painting yesterday and not enjoying the process a huge amount, I decided that today I'd just like to play. I've taken a sheet of Arsh cold pressed watercolour paper and divided it into six blocks with washi tape. I really don't have any plans with what I'm going to do in each box, but I have got out my two big watercolour palettes next to me. In the first box I start off with some random landscape lines and just start watercolouring them in. And then in the second box, while well, the first one is drying, I start off with a sky. I don't have any kind of completed picture in my head that I'm aiming for with any of these. I just knew that I wanted to have a nice play with watercolours to start with. In a past video I talked about my Schmincke Aqua Bronze Powder not sticking to the paper very well. A couple of people mentioned mixing it with gum arabic but I don't have any so I had a go at mixing it with some brush and pencil coloured pencil touch up texture. I remember seeing someone mixing powdered pigment with it once and it worked well so I thought I'd try the same as I had some and it did make a really nice gold paste.
So I had an enormous amount of fun with these and I couldn't have predicted the different styles that they'd have turned out in. I enjoyed doing the neat blocks and kind of stylized finish on the top left hand one. And then the middle one, I just enjoyed the looseness and the colours of the landscape. The top right hand one, I didn't really like the underpainting at all. I liked the colours I'd chosen, but I just didn't enjoy the shapes that I'd kind of painted midway through. So I decided to just scribble all over it and have fun with it. Then for the bottom left hand one, I really enjoyed the dark moody watercolours and adding charcoal over the top of it. Though I didn't notice till later that I'd dropped some water onto the birds and obscured a couple of them slightly. With the bottom middle one, it was just fun with colour, to be honest. Just doing whatever I fancied. And then the bottom right hand one, again, had a slight landscape or seascape-y feel to it. I liked using the granulating watercolour in the centre. And then I put in a couple of abstract tea lines with Derwent Ink Tense Pencil. I'll probably chop this sheet up and use the pictures on the front of greetings cards. It's a bit scary starting out and not knowing what's going to emerge. But the nice thing with using mixed media is that you've got some opaque options so you can go over the top of things you don't like so much. So for example, the top right hand one, I went over the original watercolour with acrylic markers. I definitely encourage you to have some kind of similar play session. The small size seems to feel less stressful than taking up a whole big sheet. And it was just a lot of fun. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. Bye.